Yeah, you can argue back and forth who the best football player or baseball player from the state of Alabama is. In golf, it's no question. It's Hubert Green. The Hall of Famer had many triumphs on the course, but his greatest victory came 14 years ago, and it had nothing to do with golf. On a sunny day in Mountain Brook, Hubert Green does what he usually does almost every day. Goes to the golf course for some practice. You know, when you're playing all the time, you learn the things that made it so sharp in the first place. In a sport where you have to have a short memory to succeed, Green never focused on his misses. My father said, do the best thing in there, you have to dig a hole, then a run hole. Even though he had a reputation of getting just close enough to taste victory at Augusta, but never won a green jacket. There's always a rider that every year after the fourth round, he had to do an interview with a guy who had a good chance to win and blew it. And I think I know the guy very well. He finished in the top 10 at the Masters six times in seven years, none closer than the 1978 tournament. Hubert Green had a three footer to tie. But when he overheard the radio commentator just off the green, his concentration was fatally disturbed. He never took home that green jacket, but he did win two majors and 19 overall victories. Yeah! But it was in 2003 he won his biggest victory over oral cancer. Life changed quite a bit, but I'm still here. It's been 14 years since Green's cancer went into remission, but even today he still feels its effects. Many of the details of his Hall of Fame career blurred due to the intense radiation and chemotherapy. One year at the Bruno tournament, some kid said, Mr. Green, will you sign my hat? So I did. said, put the year, year you won here on it also. And I went blank. Adjusting to life after cancer has given Green some tough days, but that same short memory that helped him move on from bad shots and missed putts has helped him through his darkest moments. You gotta play the hand you're dealt with or don't play at all. You know, there's no other option. The sport of golf has given much to Hubert Green, but what it gives him today is simple somewhere to go and a sense of normalcy. I love being here, I love practicing, and I'm not much else there. I play bridge. Uh, some days, and uh, I can't do something with, with my life part time. Now, Green says two things have helped him get through his dark days. He has a great wife and great dogs. The wife isn't always happy to see him, but he can always count on the dogs to be excited. Chris.